Hello and welcome. So in this call, we are going to be working on um, this tool that is a graphic designing app to create thumbnails. Okay, thumbnails, specifically thumbnails. It's actually it actually does um, quite a number of things, um, like anything to do with graphics, videos for your promotions on social media and things like that. So with me is Bongi. Bongi, hi. <laughs> hi, Kuda. I'm doing well, thanks. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to, let me just see if I, if I can just start a new record. Can you see my screen? Yes, I can see your screen. All right. Okay. That's fine. So, um, if you look at, uh, one of the posts, uh, this one, that was done here. There's an image here, there's an image, and here there are some cool images. But if you look at this one, you can see that this image really is, is cut off, okay? And then if you can see some of these uh, layouts, the images are centered. And then if you look at this, it's a bit longish, okay? So basically that yeah. is what is known as the featured um, as the featured image. If you go on my YouTube channel, let me just go on my YouTube channel. If you go on my YouTube channel, you're going to notice that there is, uh, in fact, some of the people, they also put, do you see this one? This is a nice graphic mm -hmm. graphics that was actually done. And um, if you can actually go here on my YouTube channel, you're going to notice that these are some of the, graphics that we've done okay so that is what is called as a featured image or a thumbnail that shows on social media and things like that so the way you do that is that you can actually create a nice graphic that is a very good call to action is that making sense yes so in order to do that once you log into this um application all you have to do is normally if i'm doing something for 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 if I'm doing something for for a, for a featured blog post or a thumbnail, I go with this YouTube thumbnail. It works perfectly. All right. Though you can actually do the custom sizes depending on some things that you want, uh, uh, you can actually do that. But now, if I actually click here, I'm gonna go with the YouTube thumbnail, and then it's gonna open up. So what's going to open up is that let me just come back here and show you if I go on templates, let me go on templates so that you can see them. These are some of the uh, pre-designed stuff that are done. So I'm going to go on, um, I'm going to go on, um, if I go blogging, blogging, there is blog partner, blog header. No, I need covers and headers. On covers and headers, I'm going to select, uh, YouTube thumbnail. So if you mm -hmm. go on the YouTube thumbnail, you're going to see that these are all different graphics that we've done. Though you can actually right. start yours from scratch, but these are some of them that we actually done. Okay. So mm -hmm. um, I'm just looking for something that can uh, resonate with what I need to do. Okay. Okay, let me just go up. I'm gonna go up and look for a template that I can actually use. Or you can actually start from scratch. If you want to start from scratch, you can just click here. So what I'm gonna do yeah. is I'm gonna type business. Let me say online business. Online business, right? Then I'm gonna search. So uh, interview mistakes, uh, how to make something like an app, start a business, uh five online business ideas uh, this is profitable business ideas uh all these are cool stuff that you can actually do there so this can be on your cover page of uh of your laptop or whatever <clears throat> so let me just um Okay, I could go with anything. As you can see, can you see this one? This image? Yeah. 
if you can see on my YouTube channel, is this the same? Mm. Yeah. It is the same, right? So I'm just gonna, mm -hmm. I'm just gonna click on this one. Let me just click on that one. Okay. Once I click on this one, um, basically I don't want the, I need to move this here and then I can move that there. And then I would say wow. here, uh, um, I would say, uh, mm, uh, crypto, let me say crypto trading on autopilot. Okay. So mm -hmm. if I need to reduce the size, I can just come here. No, I can just come on this number. I just reduce the size to 72. And then the mm -hmm. size has been reduced. And then here I can actually say, um, Real Q. That's the app. That's the thing that you did, right? And then if I don't like this image, all I have to do is to come in where it says photos. And then I can type here to say robot. Or it can be any keyword like uh, any keyword that you want to uh, use. Mm -hmm. Maybe trading. Yeah, maybe trading, whichever. But let me pick this one. And then I just drag it there. And then the, the image is there. And then if I want to change this color, I can actually change this color to blue or whichever color that I want. If I need to use red. If I need to change this color here, yeah, I can actually use blue and things like that. And then if I need to change the background at the back, I can actually go where it says, um, background here, I go on background, and then mm -hmm. I can click on color, and then I need uh, yellow to be my background. So there has to be a bit of color balance in terms of what you're actually doing, uh, depending the, the result that you want, okay? So basically, mm -hmm. if, you put, if you put a dark color like this, that means your text has to be what? Light. Right. Okay, if you put a, a dark text, if you put dark text, if let's say if you put black, okay, that's the background, okay? If, if you put light, light background, like yellow, that means your text has to be dark. Mm -hmm. Okay, it has to be the opposite. So let me just change this text. The text has to be dark so that it can be clear. All right. Oh, I keep making a mistake here. Yeah. But let me just mm -hmm. put your white. But I hope you get what I'm trying to say. Yes, yes, I'm yeah. getting it. So uh, uh, you can do quite a number of things with this, quite a number of things with this. So uh, there's quite a lot of things that you can actually do with it. Like for instance, if I go to my, um, my projects, you see that I've actually done, this is the Facebook page that I've done for myself and uh, some motivational quotes. Uh, as you can see this one, this image as well, this cover here mm -hmm. is the one that is on my, on this video. YouTube video. Yes, any questions? No, it's, it's very clear actually. Yeah, so now when you're actually naming your image, you're gonna have to download your image or you can actually name your image right here. You can actually, you need to make sure that you put a keyword so that images can also be searched on Google, right? So you could say um, uh, crypto trading, crypto trading uh, on autopilot. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that that is a keyword, uh, crypto trading with autopilot, and then you save. And then so that when you actually are downloading this image, I'm just gonna click on download, and then you mm -hmm. click download. When you're actually downloading this image, what's gonna happen is that the image is gonna be named, uh, the name of the image is gonna be a keyword. It simply means when people search on Google, they can actually land on this image as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I'm done. That's all I wanted to share with you with regards to um, the progress that you're making. <laughs>
<laughs> I appreciate it so much. Absolutely, absolutely. So uh, thank you so much uh, for joining this call. Whoever is listening, it's, uh, it was one of the things that we had to discuss. I understand that some of you guys, I gave you access to this software and uh, please make use of it. And um, yeah. So that was uh, Bongi on the call. She's actually one of our students at Internet Pro Club. So if you are not yet part of our class, please um, visit internetproclub.com and click the sign up button so that you can actually take our free 11 day course. And once you take the free 11 day course, we are going, you are going to learn how to get sessions like these with myself. And thank you very much for watching and uh, bye for now.